www.santosforpotentials.com signing at our channel so let's continue us to study the book of John Gainfield the success principle po yan, nasa principle number 47 na po tayo lapit lapit na po tayo matapos inquire within so ano ba yan, ma'am Shumaria this is uh, from Michael Gelb ang ano niya, book niya, How to Think Like Leonard Da Vinci, sabi niya. Brain researchers estimate that your unconscious data have database but weights the conscious on an order exceeding 10 million to 1. The data base is source of your hidden natural genius. In other words, a part of you is much smaller than you are, smarter than you are. The wise people regularly consult that smarter part. So, ano ba yung smart part or inquiry thing? So, sabi niya, according to an ancient name, there was a time when ordinary people had access to all knowledge of the gods. The time and again, they ignored this wisdom. One day, the gods grew tired of freely giving a gift that people didn't use so hindi daw natin ginagamit. So, they decided to Hide the precious wisdom where only the most committed of seekers will discover it. So first, uh, they decided or suggested to put it at uh, very deep in the earth. No, the others said, too many people could easily dug down and find it. Then they suggested the deepest ocean. So but sabi nila, they didn't know that people would want when they learn how to dive and they would find it too easily then uh sa highest mountain top naman but it was quickly agreed that people could climb mountains finally one of the wisest god suggests let's hide it deep inside the people themselves they never think to look in there so unite the inside so it's within us to uh, secret na to. So, ano ba yan? Trust your intuition. So, yung inquiring within is our intuition. intuition. So, minsan, friend, experience mo ba yan? Yung gut feel or may inner voice na parang narinig mo na urge, urging you to do something or guiding you. So, yun po yung intuition natin. So, for most of us, our early education and training focus on looking outside of ourselves for the answers to our questions. So, so nakaugulian po natin is uh, find and find kung saan saan lugar, di ba? We look sa so dictionaries, meaning ng words, we look sa encyclopedia. So, ngayon po, Google na po, di ba? Wala na mga gumagamit ng encyclopedia. We still have in our library encyclopedia. But nobody uses na po, ano, kasi parang ano, may google it na lang po, diba? So, few of us had any training on how to look inside. And yet, most of the super successful people that uh, Sir Jack Greenfield met are people that developed their impression and learned to trust their gut feelings and follow their inner guidance. So, yung mga successful people daw po sa atin. They use their impression or guide inner guidance para po towards the success that they are looking for or finding. Many practice some form of daily meditation to access that voice within. So, hindi po kasi natin marinig na kung hindi mo nag quiet or you reflect. Hindi daw po natin ma- um, they hear your inner voice na yan kung we are always busy or uh, noisy. We can here are impression when things are calm, when things are quiet, when things are parang, uh, nothingness or calmness. Dito po natin siya makikita. So, yun. Parang, that's a, one secret to success is listening to our impression. So, every one of us, it, it it has an issue. It's just a matter of developing it. But how do we develop it? Yung nga po meditation or attending retreats or uh, reading books about it. Um, kasi kung if you will not try to listen to that inner voice, hindi mo mahanap yung guidance that you are looking for. So using meditation to access your impression. So how do we meditate po ba? No? So we have to find that quiet place nga po. 
in our environment, within ourselves, if we're in a park, in place of nature, like the mountains, the beach, no? so doon po natin narinig yung, ano, yung voice of the Lord or that inner voice na or urging that <coughs> guiding us. <coughs> Regular meditation will deepen your intuition. So, yun na po natin yung guidance natin, no? The answers thou lies within. So, minsan po hanap tayo ng hanap yung sagot, hindi natin mahanap kasi it is within us. Ni-ignore lang natin or hindi natin hinahanap. So, just like sabi ni Sir Jack Cable, when they were looking for a title for the book ng yung, uh, national bestseller yung chicken soup the soul so yung they were meditating for three days on the third day doon nga po yung nakita yung chicken soup so, chicken soup parang sounds so ordinary but sabi nga eh yung inner voice sa kanya is when we need uh, what uh, pag when we get sick before parang ang pag ano sa atin ng ating mga grandparents is chicken soup so kaya chicken soup for the soul Yun na nga from their, uh, they found the answer to their question of what will they name their best selling book so how does our intuition communicates with us your can our intuition can communicate in many ways you may get a message from within as a vision or a visual image while you are meditating or dreaming so sabi niya uh, he but si Sir Jack is lying on bed in bed after I first wake up when I'm meditating or getting a message, a massage, or while sitting in a hot tub or taking a shower. It can come in a flash or out of the blue. It can be long and folding image like a movie. So parang it's a scene that is happening eh, so maraming way. So sabi niya, your intuition may speak to you as a hunch, as a thought, a voice actually telling you no, yes, no, go for it, or not yet. It might come as a one resounding word, a short sentence, or a complete lecture. You may find you can dialogue with the voice for clarification or more information. So, uh, your intuition are is one mystery na nangyayari every day in our lives. So, we have to find it. Something that we have to develop it in. So, make time to listen. So, if you will not try to listen to that inner voice, hindi po natin malalaman yung guidance na yan. Kaya we have to be quiet sometime. Hindi puro po being busy is a solution to our quest for success. No? So, ito yung ano. I want to uh, tool this is ask questions. So, ano ba yung questions that we can ask our intuition? Should I take this job? What should I do? about the lack of morale in the company what can I, can I do to increase sales this year what can I do to get guarantee to get this account should I marry this person what can I do to lower my time in the marathon how can I achieve my ideal weight what is the next step I take to achieve financial independence what should I do now so these are parang promptings eh, na, which will guide us in answers so pwede daw lumabas sa dream natin or a movie daw, a movie script in our mind so yung daydreaming na tinatawag or visualization when next is write down your answer so journaling na naman po yan no? so, kung ano daw po yung nareceive natin na answer one way is to write them down so journal yan and then uh, take immediate action what do you mean by pay? take immediate action. Pay attention to the answers you receive and act on the information as quickly as possible. When you act on the information you receive, you'll find that you get more and more intuitive impulses. So, your intuition pala, uh, na encourage then by listening to it. Now, after a while, you will be living in the flow. It will seem easy and effortless as the wisdom comes to you and simply act on it. As you learn to trust yourself and your intuition, more it will become automatic. So the more that we use polar intuition, is the more she that ga activate. So remember, it's not what you think of it; it's what you write down and take action on that down. So, ilang din pala we take note of the things that we hear from the voice within us. So. Uh, 
Yan. So, inquiry din. Yun nga po. Take time to listen to our impression through meditation, through writing, through answering or asking questions. Stay safe everyone. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.